Hello, everyone. Welcome to phase 4 of the Pico tutorial series made by Waveshare, ADC. In the last phase, we realized the LED breathing effect with PWM, that is, change the digital signal into the analog signal. Generally, if we lose our eyes and ears, our hands and feet will not be precise as before when we try to reach something. It is because we need feedback from our eyes and ears. Our brain can continuously adjust the motions of our hands and feet with feedback information, which forms closed-loop feedback. Similarly, if we want to control LED brightness precisely with PWM, we need feedback information. However, LED brightness is an analog signal, which cannot be directly dealt with by MCUs. So we need to change it into a digital signal. How can we change the analog signal into a digital signal? Now it is time to introduce another peripheral. Analog to digital converter, generally shortened to ADC, is to convert an analog signal with continuous time and continuous amplitude into a digital signal with discrete time and discrete amplitude. The basic principle of this kind of converter is to sample the input analog signal according to the specified time interval and compare it with a series of standard voltages so that the corresponding binary values converge successively until the input voltage is consistent with the internal comparison voltage and then output the binary value representing the voltage. Common ADC types. 1. Successive approximation ADC. According to the reference voltage, a series of voltages are generated and compared with the input voltage one by one to obtain the corresponding code closest to the input voltage. It is characterized by medium speed and high precision, which is relatively common. 2. Parallel Comparison ADC A series of voltages are generated based on the reference voltage and compared at the same time, to obtain the corresponding coded value closest to the input voltage. It is characterized by high speed and low precision, and is suitable for occasions with high speed and low resolution. The difference between successive approximation ADC and parallel comparison ADC is like CPU and GPU. The former can handle more difficult cases individually, while the latter can handle simpler cases in parallel. RP2040 ADC specification is shown below. 1. ADC model is successive approximation ADC, 2. Converting rate, 500ks s. 3. Resolution, 12 bit. 4. ADC input channel. Channel 0 to 3 are GPIO channel. Channel 4 is for internal temperature sensor. It should be noted that there is no adapting pin for GPIO 29 in Pico, which is for detecting VSYS voltage, and the number of ADC pin in Pico is 3. This picture is an official ADC block diagram. Let's summarize it. The general process of the ADC is that the analog signal enters one end of the comparator through the analog signal multiplexer. If we need to collect the voltage of ADC channel 0, which is the voltage on the GPIO 26 pin, it will enter one end of the comparator through the analog signal multiplexer. The so-called DAC is to divide the reference voltage into 2 and power. If the resolution is 12-bit, the reference voltage will be divided into 4096 parts equally. After the SAR controller is ready, it starts to work after the start conversion signal arrives. It outputs SAR control signal. The comparator sequentially compares the input voltage with an internally generated internal voltage. The SAR controller will record the comparison result, and then output the binary value closest to the input voltage after the comparison is completed, which completes an ADC conversion. It should be noted here that the maximum value of the analog signal is determined by IOVDD, the IO port power supply, not the reference voltage ADC underscore aft. Also, we need to note that IOVDD is fixed at 3.3V on the Pico when we use our P2040 to develop other projects. For example, when IOVDD is 1.8V and ADC underscore AVDD is 3.3V, the analog signal allows input with a maximum value of 1.8V, which is the voltage of LVDD. If the voltage exceeds IOVDD, it will be pulled low by the ESD protection diode. Common ADC input voltage formula. Multiply the reference voltage by the value read by the ADC, divide it by the input voltage whose resolution is equal to the ADC input pin, and substitute it into the parameters of the Pico. The formula for calculating the ADC input voltage is simply as follows. 3.3 times the ADC reading divided by 4096 equals the ADC input pin voltage, and the unit is V. 
Here we need to know the formula of the official on-ship temperature sensor, by the way. The formula is as follows. And the current temperature can be obtained by substituting the voltage value read by the ADC into it. Now let's enter the function description part. Machine.ADC function is the constructor function for ADC object, and its function is to initialize the corresponding ADC channel. The parameter ID is the ADC channel used, and you can use pin object or specify the ADC channel. When using pin object, the specified GPIO must support ADC function, that is, GPIO 26. When using the specified ADC channel, channel 0 to 3 corresponds to GPIO 26 to 29. Channel 4 corresponds to the internal temperature sensor, read underscore U16 function, and its function is to read the corresponding ADC channel and return the read value. It should be noted here that the value returned by this function does not directly return the value read by the ADC, but the processed value. The value range is 0, 065535. Therefore, the ADC voltage calculation formula should be. The ADC read voltage is 3.3 times the return value divided by 65535, and the unit is V. We need to prepare. A pico with soldered headers a blue and white potentiometer, jumper wires. The schematic diagram is as follows, we connect pin 1 of the blue and white potentiometer to 3.3V, pin 2 to GND, and pin 3 to GPIO 26. It's the programming part we are most looking forward to again, let's go directly to the theme. Here we have prepared a program that reads the voltage on the GPIO 26 every second, and acquires the temperature of the on-chip temperature sensor. In the first few lines of the program, as always, we need to import the corresponding function library first. Here we use two ways to initialize ADC channel. One dot initialize ADC channel 0 by specifying GPIO 26. Two dot specifies to initialize ADC channel 4, which corresponds to the on-chip temperature sensor. Then we can see the while infinite loop. First, we read the value of ADC channel 0, and obtain the voltage on the GPIO 26 pin according to the ADC voltage formula introduced earlier, and then output it to the console, calculate the voltage on ADC channel 4 in the same way, and then substitute it into the official temperature formula can calculate the current temperature and output it to the console. We can see that the Pico outputs the voltage and current temperature of ADC channel 0 every second. We can adjust the blue and white potentiometer, and the voltage changes significantly. Now we touch the chip with a cooler object, and we can also see the temperature change. Now it is the end of this phase, I hope you like it and give it a thumbs up. See you next time.